Hello and welcome to the C++ Insights YouTube channel. I'm Andreas Fertig. I work as a C++ trainer offering classes worldwide, on-site or remote. This is my YouTube channel where I use my tool C++ Insights to teach you various topics related to C++. So welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about a C++23 feature that hopefully helps you to write better code. I did a previous episode talking specifically about is constant evaluated and I will link you that in the um, video here above so you can check it out if you're unfamiliar with is constant evaluated. What I'm doing here is I have my own assert function. It's, it's great because the C++20 landscape enables us to doing so much more things at compile time and I, I simply enjoy that a lot. Here is now my version with this assert. It takes the condition, it's a bool, it contains a, or it takes a string view message and I'm using C++20's source location to grab the location where this function actually was invoked. So this is where the assertion failed if it does so. I'm checking the condition, so does the assert fail? And if that's the case, now I have to make a decision. For the runtime path, I want a nice readable message, right? So this is where I'm using yet another C++23 feature. So it's all about C++23 today. It's the print line and I say I print it to C error. And this is what I'm doing. I print the uh, location's file name, the location's line number and the message that the user provided me with. and it then looks like here on Compile Explorer that my example CPP inline 23, my i must be greater than zero. So line 23, this here is where it happened, the sum calculation, and we can see this one comes here from my variable Louis. This is great. And my is constant evaluated here. And this one now is guarding the sprint line because sprint line obviously is a function that I can use only at runtime because it does runtime printing. I have two more invocations here, some calculation of int with the value zero, so that one would work. But I have another one here, Robin, and that one here would do the same thing as Louis at runtime. So Robin at compile time would yield a uh, value that's zero. So it doesn't satisfy the condition here. I is greater than zero. If I enable that, we can see that my code now stops compiling. We went into the condition and the compiler here tells me, well, the uh, variable or sorry, the function you're using is an non const per function and it prints me out the message. We could make that one appear nicer and then let it uh, terminate the compilation a different way, but let's go with this for now. I do this. The beauty here about C23 is that the compiler also is no longer forced to check that this function I'm using here really is a const per function unless it reaches it during compile time. I want to focus on line 13. Line 13 is possible since C20, but it caused a lot of headaches because people look at this and say, is constant evaluated? This is an if condition. I don't want to have this branch in my runtime code. And I have a const per if in C17, right? So let's remove the non-compiling part here. So people, especially initially, said, hey, let's make this a const per if and ensure that we are not paying for something that we won't pay for. Well, now you can see compilers caught up with that behavior and they give you a warning here. It's not an error, it's just a warning. And let's say it's that is constant evaluated will always evaluate to true in a manifestly constant evaluated expression. So let's take a step back and see what we really did here. While our intention was good, the resulting action isn't. By saying that we put this 
is constant evaluated in a constant extra context? What's the answer? It's evaluated at compile time all the time. So this is what a warning says. This thing here now always yields true. This statement is never executed, neither when it's evaluated at compile or runtime, because we are making this a compile time only thing. This is why compilers caught up and added this warning. Now, this is the version that you should write in C23 and 20 if you want to stick with that one. But we gave you something way better in C23, and this is a if const eval. So, this is a very special if which says if we are evaluated at compile time, then enable this case. And you can see now because I didn't do the right way, so we don't want to have the print line in, in the constant evaluated context, we can negate this const eval and say, hey, if it's not constant evaluated, then execute the print. And now you can see here is my print back. So this is the way easier implementation here. So I would say in C23, discard the is constant evaluated and use the if const eval. The special thing about the is const eval or the if const eval here is it doesn't take parentheses, it doesn't take any parameters because the context is clear, it's true if it's constant evaluated and it's false if not. You can also have an else branch, so I can write it like this here to keep the behavior. So my branch for constant evaluation is simply empty and my branch for runtime evaluation now contains my print line and we can see the output happens here. So this is the improvement in C++23 if const eval. I, as I said, recommend highly to use that over C++ 20s is constant evaluated and when you ever have a chance, let's say you skipped C++ 20 and start right with C++ 23, then don't bother looking at is constant evaluated, directly dive into the if const eval. I hope you learned something today and if so, please subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.